Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Gay from Scratch, and today, if you're a Unity developer, is a good day. Today is the 10th anniversary of the launch of the Unity Asset Store, and to celebrate, they are running the Asset Store X Mega Bundles. Now, this is basically uh, kind of the Unity equivalent of a humble bundle. It's a bunch of assets from the Unity Store organized into tiers. You buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all of the stuff below it. So as you can see right here, there is a $10 tier, a $25 tier, and a $36 tier. And as you can see by the number of items you get, the last tier is definitely where things are weighted. You've got, uh, let's see, 21 days, so three weeks to pick this guy up if you are interested. And if you really want to know more about one of the items in here specifically, let me know and I will do my best to cover it in a future video. But let's just jump through, take a look at all of the assets that are in this bundle by tier. So let's start with the first tier. This is for $10. Uh, you buy this tier, you get just what's in this tier. The first one is pretty straightforward. You get the Oak Tree Package. This is a collection of, I believe it was six. Yeah, six highly te uh, detailed uh, PBS. I wonder if they meant PBR. Uh, oak Trees, uh, two LODs for each and so on. That's pretty straightforward for the most part. You're, you're looking here, it's a collection of oak trees. Uh, you can see more details of each individual thing here, the size of it, and most importantly, when it was last updated. That's going to become more and more relevant if you're looking at using the HDRP for stuff, and you don't want to jump through the hoops of getting your stuff supported. But the nice thing is, plus HDRP. So in this particular case, you are fine. Next up, we have the Micro Monster Hero Pack and Low Polygon Pack. It's a collection of... I don't know, would you call this chibi? I think it's got to be animated to be chibi style. But anyways, it's, it's these um, kind of low polygon hand painted micro monsters and heroes all rigged and animated. So you've got three heroes, which are a druid, a knight, and a wizard. And then you've got a bunch of different monsters all done in this particular style. Uh, definitely a cool look to it. I don't know how overwhelmingly useful that would be, unless this perfectly matched the art style of your game, but uh, it's a nice collection anyways. And next up, we've got the Combat Collection Pro Edition. This is a selection of sounds or music loops um, around the theme of combat. Uh, so you see here, you've got 21 professionally mastered tracks and loops. Apologize if my voice is giving out. I do have a cold, so I'm pausing to drink between... So this one is a collection of video game music by uh, British composer John Leonard French. Uh, that's an ironic name. Uh, so anyways, 21 professional tracks, CD quality, etc., etc. So if you're looking for some music for your game, Combat Collection could be the right fit. And then we've got Golem or Gollum. Uh, this is a mythical Jewish monster. You can see him in action here, sculpted out of clay. Uh, this one is uh, 11,000 triangles. Rig is 34 bones, uh, 4K PBR textures in it. Pretty straightforward on the whole. And then I think the final one at the first tier is the Fantasy Horde Orc Pack. Uh, and ironically, we don't have a ton of details about this. The last release date was uh, <laughs> current. Uh, so it's an Orc army with a number of accessories and different weapons. Uh, 1,600 triangles to 2,500 triangles. Pretty low, low polygon counts. Uh, 1K textures, over 30 animations. You can see kind of going on there. A bunch of different Orcs, different styles. Uh, different accessories for them, shields and, and so on. So if you need orcs for your game, could be a good collection. And that is the end of the $10 tier. Then we jump up to the $25 tier. Now do keep in mind the $25 tier includes everything we just saw at the $10 tier collection. So let's take a look at the $25 tier. All right, so first thing we've got here is the Space for Unity Space Construction Kit. Uh, again, updated 2019. So, uh, da, 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 da. wow, do you have no description of what? Create unique uh, space scenes with a single mouse click, save money, distribution size, memory through a modular approach to replacing skyboxes. So, yeah, there, there's not a lot of detail about what this one's all about. Um, but, yeah, yeah that's, that's kind of what it is. Uh, next up, we've got the Tower Defense Toolkit 4. Uh, this one is very up-to-date. Uh, is a C-sharp coding framework for easily constructing TD or tower defense games of any kind. Comes with a bundle of scripts that are flexible and configurable to fit a variety of uh, gameplay scenarios. It's mobile compatible. So that one definitely could be useful if you're looking to create a tower defense style game. Uh, that's exactly what this is all about. Basically an asset kit for doing that. Then we've got the Frozen uh, GUI pack. So if you're trying to make a UI for a Frozen style game, it's a collection of icons and stuff with a uh, you know wintery theme going on, basically blue and white themes. Um, yeah, so if, you, if you're looking to create that kind of game, it's layer, PSD mockups included, prefab animation particles, sounds, and complete C-sharp code included, mobile friendly, etc. 
Then we get the top-down assets pack. Uh, you kind of see some of them in action right here. Kind of pictures worth more than words. So if you're looking to create a top-down style game, uh, that is uh, essentially what this pack is all about. Here we can see the breakdown of the assets included in the pack. Nice looking pack, pretty generic in the art style, so it should be useful for a number of different environments. So that is the top-down asset pack. Next up, we have the pool manager, and this is the last thing in the $25 tier. Uh, this has nothing to do with swimming pools, by the way. <clears throat> this is all about handling pooling resources, reuse, reload particles, sprites, audio, and more. That looks wrong. <laughs> that looks really wrong. Uh, so anyways, um, the best instance pooling solution for Unity manages instances with more efficiency to increase performance, um, to increase performance, organize scene hierarchy, and is simple to implement. So basically, if you're not moving on to the dots level of parallelization and you want to reuse a whole lot of things like reusing sprites, audio, and so on, or particals, uh, Pool Manager is there for you. All right, so that's the end of that tier. Again, nothing really overwhelming as of yet. So they really top-loaded this guy into the $35 tier, and that's what we're going to see now. Now, again, $35 tier, you get everything in the $25 tier and in the $10 tier. The first one we have here is Vecrocity. This is actually kind of cool. It's vector graphics brought to uh, Unity. So this brings line drawing to Unity. So if you want to have that vector style look going on, uh, you can do so. It's a line drawing application for Unity. I've uh, been in development since 2010, last updated just like days ago. So that's definitely kind of a cool selection. So if you want to get that vector graphic look, or you want to bring lines into your uh, line renderer into your game for some reason, Vectrosity might be a good fit. Uh, next up, we have... Uh, Suimano? Suimano? I have no idea. It's interactive water system. Um, you see some of the, the actions and, and things you can configure right here. Things like multiple surface types, infinite oceans, 3D tessellation of waves, advanced buoyancy, underwater effects, transition effects, caustic rendering, customer prefects, uh, surface interaction, ripple and splash effects, auto shoreline effects, depth calculation, and more. So if you want to add water to your world, uh, that is what this one is all about. Open code base, um, completely in C sharp, simple to set up, easy to use custom interface. Unfortunately, it is standard pipeline only currently so hopefully they are going to update it at some point in the future the last update was 2020 so probably going to happen uh, but just to be aware this one is for the standard render pipeline more only so but if you're looking to add water with splash and reactions to your character uh, and you're using the standard pipeline or you're hoping that they're going to update it uh, that is what this guy is all about next up we have simple sequel uh Kind of straightforward, actually. SQL or uh, structured query language is a standard way of interfacing with databases. You can attach to SQLite databases to manage your um, managers in your scene. Uh, no need to move files around for mobile devices. Simple and efficient access to data using customizable classes or write your own SQL statements. Store your data using an ORM uh, objects relation manager, I think, uh, structure or simple tables, uh, and so on. C sharp courses, C sharp source code included, and it also works with Playmaker. Um, Windows Store is not supported for some reason. Uh, Web Player is also not supported, but otherwise, if you needed to add like a database to your game, that's what Simple SQL is all about. All right, next up, we've got Script Inspector. Uh, Script Inspector 3. This is an advanced ID. E code editor for scripts, shaders, and text assets seamlessly integrated inside of Unity Editor. SI3 comes with context sensitive auto completion for C sharp scripts and a rich set of additional tools, key bindings, and mouse handling. To be honest, I love this idea because I, I really hate having to jump out to Visual Studio Code, do a small edit. So basically, turning um, Unity into an IDE for code editing. Yeah, yeah, I'm in. Uh, so that's the idea behind uh, Script Inspector 3. I've never actually used it, but of all the things that we've covered so far, it's probably the one that I find the most interesting here, especially because it's got IntelliSense support. Uh, you see here it is on last updated this year, so it is still being updated. That is definitely probably the one that interests me the most so far. Uh, next up, we have Eddie's Vehicle Physics. Um, yeah, that, that one's pretty straightforward. Precise control and fun to drive vehicles with keyboard and touchscreen. Uh, any vehicle setup, street, truck, racing, drifting, vehicles can be rigged and configured in minutes. Uh, easy integration into existing projects, vehicle damage effects, including deterioration of handling, multiple ground materials, um, 
per material grip and drag coefficients, ground marks, skid marks, smoke dust, so you can have like dirt versus tush, uh, asphalt versus uh, tarmac versus other things. Uh, lots of audio effects included, including engine, turbo, transmission, tire skids, body impact, scratches, built-in pause function for vehicles without setting time scale to zero. So yeah, if you want to add cars to your game, good collection right there. And the procedural UI image uh create design change inside unity so adjustable border radius create an infinite number of basic shapes without a ton of image resources control and animate border width and border radius perfect for creating flat style uis yeah so it almost seems to be like a vector shape creation tool uh, next up we have easy roads 3d pro v3 hey that one's got good synergy with the uh, car one that came up just a moment ago uh this one is updated quite consistently so it's just updated last month um, create unique road networks uh, directly in Unity, uh, both built-in customizable dynamic crossing prefabs and custom crossing prefabs based on your imported models. Uh, build your scenes alive. Bring, oh, bring your scenes alive, sorry. Uh, with additional side objects, including bridges, guardrails, fences, walls, power lines, tree lines, any other type of geometry following a path. Not just roads, but can also be used to create railroads and rivers. Another really actual cool project in here. Let's see if we've got some other things of it in action. Yeah, so you can use it to basically create uh, procedural roads and populate things that go beside them. So that's Easy Roads 3D Pro version 3. And then we've got um, Master Audio X X A A A. Okay. Uh, so this one gives you tremendous ease of use, speed, power, and flexibility far beyond any contender. While you use underpowered solution and waste your time writing code, we've coded... Okay, what do you do, though? Uh, audio occlusion with many options, true randomized weight and sound variations, mesh spline audios for positional audio, advanced features for categories such as voice limits and time-limited retriggering, save memory, save time, and so on. So it's an advanced audio control engine. Uh, you see some of it in action here. Uh, yeah, okay, pretty straightforward. It's probably one of those ones I'd have to look into further to see how useful it was. But if you want to have uh, more control over your audio, uh, yeah, that's what that one's all about. And hey, we got another racing thing here. This one is the Tune Racing, which again would have pretty good synergy with a previous pack or two. This one appears to be SRP plus ERP, uh, so the Universal Render Pipeline here. Last updated October the 19th, so it's current. This one contains 12 racing cars, 12 rally cars, 8 monster trucks, 50 track pieces, stands, ramps, and more, 25 uh, props, and 4 buildings. I wonder how well it would work with that other asset for creating dynamic roads. But if you were trying to create a micro racer style game, Tune Racing could be the right thing for you. And then we've got Unistorm. This is volumetric clouds, sky, modular weather, and cloud shadows. Uh, it's a bit like... Sounds like a bit like Thor, but not just for lightning. Unistorm is the ultimate solution for AAA dynamic skies, weather clouds, shadows, procedural volume clouds. Unistorm features over 100 customizable options to bring environments to life. Even the clouds' appearances can be customized. Listening to user interfaces help make blah, 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 blah. So AAA volumetric clouds built in photon pun to network support, atmospheric fog, cloud shadows, 4K stars with accurate constellations, uh, procedural aura, a auras? Aura? I have no idea. Uh, performance, built-in lightweight options, uh, dynamic um, modular weather, cloud profiles, VR and mobile ready, advanced weather generation, global weather shading and sh um, shaders and shading, weather and weather transitions, and on and on and on it goes. Now, what I'm not seeing is anything about the HDRP. Let's actually just do a quick find. Nope, nothing found. So do be a little wary of that. Last updated on the 20th, though, so that's not to say that it isn't. It's very much under active development, and the fact that HDRP and URP split the user base, it's kind of hard to blame that on the uh, on the asset developers there. And that is it. That is the pack. So again, I got to say, the $10 tier is it's there. The $25 tier, there's a couple of nice things here. The tower defense kit, top-down assets, pool manager, sure. But they really did uh, backload this thing into the $35 tier or the $36 tier, where there's like probably the by far the most uh, generically um, useful stuff there. The stuff that really jumped out to me is here. Uh, so this guy here, they add the ability to code directly inside of Unity. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, the weather system, sorry, the water system's kind of pretty cool. Uh, SQL built in, road system, audio system. So the, the, the top level useful in all kinds of game stuff. Yeah, it's all in the $36 tier. But basically it boils down to if you wanted to get this or this, 
or this, or this. Everything else is basically included for free because you're looking at 35 bucks. This alone is 39 or 50 or 60 or so on. So you can see here, they've really structured it so that the, the tier to buy is this tier, which I guess makes sense. You also save more money as you go up tiers, 95%. Versus 93% versus 93%. Okay, so it's a whopping 2%. But they've really set it up that this is the tier to get. Now, the link will be down below. It does contain an affiliate code. So if you buy something, it does help support the channel. By the way, thanks so much if you do that. So yeah, that is the 10th anniversary sale over at the Unity Asset Store. Let me know what you think. And again, if there's something here that really jumps out to you that you want to learn more about, let me know. Uh, perhaps I can cover it up in a follow-up video if there is enough interest. Uh, I think the ones that, again, I find more interesting or... or uh, that one, I guess, really jumps out at me. I like water systems as well. The dynamic road system and the audio system and the storm system all kind of jump out a bit as well. But what are you guys interested in? What do you think of this bundle? Also, uh, stay tuned later today. There, there might be another bundle that you're interested in somewhere else. So uh, it, it's definitely a good deal day. So let me know what you think. Talk to you all later and goodbye.